Hi, welcome to the lesson with the Continent Globe and the Continent Puzzle. What your child will learn with this lesson, in addition to learning the continents and their names, is they're going to learn about hemispheres and on which hemisphere each continent belongs. What you will need for this lesson is the Continent Globe, the Montessori Continent Puzzle, an apple, a knife, and a cutting board. After the lesson on the continent globe, where we have shown our child or children the names of the continents and their place on the globe, we now get to show them the same thing but on a puzzle. The way we would do that is simply reminding them about the names of our continents. This is North America. This is North America, South America, South America, Europe, Europe, Asia, Asia, Africa, Africa, Australia, Australia, Antarctica, hmm, two Antarcticas, there's only one Antarctica. Oh, of course, this is a sphere. The Earth is in the shape of a sphere. For us to put this in map form, we have to divide the sphere into two hemispheres. This is a hemisphere and this is a hemisphere. The way to make this visual for your child is by then showing them we have to pretend to cut our earth in half to place it on the map. This is where our apple comes in. This is an apple. We're going to pretend that this is the globe of our Earth. We're going to make two hemispheres out of our one sphere. We've taken a sphere and made it into two hemispheres. That's how we made the map of our world. We took our sphere or our globe and cut it into two hemispheres. But what happened to Antarctica? Here's Antarctica, one whole Antarctica. But when we cut it into hemispheres, it becomes half of Antarctica and the other half of Antarctica. So on the world, there's just one Antarctica. But for the hemispheres, there are two sides of Antarctica. And that's just a very fun visual way to teach your child about hemispheres. And then you have a snack for afterwards. Again, this is a fun, fun way to learn about our world. And what we do in the classroom oftentimes is we'll play a game, especially with the, the youngest of the students. It's once we've learned about the continents and their names, we'll then have the kids close their eyes We'll say, okay, I'm gonna take a continent. Let's see if you can see which continent I've taken. And so they close their eyes, and then I'll hide a continent behind my back. You can do this with your children. They open up their eyes and they'll look, and I always keep at first the globe there because then it gives them something to compare and contrast to. But pretty soon they'll just, Asia, Asia, Asia's missing. And 
<laughs> That's right. And then they'll inevitably say, okay, Miss Kelly, close your eyes, close your eyes, I want to hide a continent. And it goes back and forth. And it is such a concrete way for them to learn their continents. Another extension to this work is mapping. And our very own Miss Lisa's son, Max, created this map my first year of teaching. I remember Max doing this so well. And what he did is he took North America, put it on the piece of paper and traced it, which is a whole different skill in and of itself. And they learn space, um, it's a spatial lesson. They have to understand how to position the continents together so that it looks like the map. Very often you'll have a three-year-old, which is fine, put North America here and South America upside down here. They just haven't learned that whole spatial relation uh, lesson. But this is the map that Miss Lisa's son Max did. And he was so proud of this, as am I. Um, another way you can do it is pin poking. You look back at our pin poking lesson, we referred to the continent map. This is the map we were talking about. You would get the proper color paper. So North America will always be orange. They'll take the puzzle piece out, trace it onto orange construction paper, pin poke it out, which takes such a lot of concentration, and then they'll glue this onto a big piece of blue paper or white paper, and they can paint the oceans into it. But then they start to, to learn how to put their world together. And it, again, is just a very, very concrete way of learning our continents. If you do not have the continent puzzle, you can make it out of felt. Here are the two hemispheres. Here's Asia and pink South America and orange North America, green Africa, red Europe, brown Australia, and our halves of Antarctica. This is also a fun way for your children to be able to learn about their world. We also made, with our label maker that we love using, this says Western Hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere. Here's the directionals, which is another lesson, North, South, West, East. Here are the labels, so they can match up the name. Australia with the continent of Australia. So this is a fun way to be able to do a similar lesson without the puzzle, but having the puzzle then allows your child to create this work. If you have the puzzle, all you need are pieces of felt and your child can create their own world work. So your child can trace South America onto the felt cut it out and create their own world work complete with learning about the oceans. The Indian Ocean goes by Asia and then it can become a whole different um, addition to the continent work.